This movie explores how a blogger uses a secret time travel ring to investigate one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies, exposing their lethally addictive drugs and their other dirty secrets. Well, this guy didn't just decide to expose this company out of the blue. There is a backstory. Hello, welcome back to I Am Movies. Today we're looking into the 2023 American sci-fi thriller film called 57 Seconds. But before we jump into the details, beware, there are spoilers. With that said, let's dive into it. The movie begins with a blogger named Franklin Fox. Franklin is basically a freelance blog writer who exposes bad pharmaceutical companies, writing about how their lethally addictive drugs have been killing people. More like an activist. However, one man has caught Frank's attention because of his alternate solution to medications, Anton Burrell. So, in an attempt to get to interview Anton Burrell, a well-known health and tech guru, Frank signs up for a part-time job as a ticket taker. Now Anton, the founder and CEO of a health tech company called Psy Trinity, is holding this event to unveil his company's latest tech product, the new Triband 5. Now while working as a ticket taker, Frank meets a lady named Jayla and soon begins to hit on her. After the job, Frank asks Jayla out on a date sometime, and to his surprise, she insists they go immediately, and Frank is like, that was fast. However, Frank informs Jayla that he is trying to sneak into the event. With this, he hands Jayla his phone to get her number, but she sets up a date alarm for 6.30 p.m. instead, and subsequently gives him a location. Meanwhile, Frank had arranged with Andy, one of his friends who works at Psy Trinity, to help him sneak into the event with a hacked tri-band and a new outfit. With this, Frank successfully gains access backstage, where he is set to meet Anton. After getting in, Frank hides behind the stage curtain shortly after seeing Anton arrive at the venue alongside his right-hand man, Ingram. Shortly after, Anton finds Frank hiding behind the curtain and asks him who he is and why is he there. Frank immediately begins to introduce himself as a blogger who would love to interview him. With this, Anton allows Frank to stay and immediately goes on stage. Now before mounting the stage, Anton removes a black ring he was wearing and puts it in his pocket. Afterward, Anton introduces the Triband 5 to his audience, stating its ability to decode DNA, devise a health plan for its user, and subsequently replace medications. Shortly after, a man comes on stage with a gun, and soon begins to shoot into the air, causing commotion. Afterwards, the man points his gun at Anton to kill him, but Franks quickly rushes in to save him by hitting the shooter with a trolley. Subsequently, security men pull the shooter away, as he keeps accusing Anton of building killer machines. After this, Anton thanks Frank for saving his life and offers him the opportunity to interview him as he had requested. However, Frank soon discovers that he has sustained an injury during the chaos, and he has been taken care of. Later, Frank notices Anton's ring on the floor and picks it up. However, his phone's alarm soon goes off, reminding him about his date with Jayla. However, Frank accidentally rubs the head of the ring and soon begins to panic as he experiences a short backward time travel, wondering what had just happened. At the date location, Frank waits for Jayla till 7.20 p.m., but she doesn't show up. With this, Frank decides to keep himself busy by trying out his new discovery. At this point, Frank realizes that the ring doesn't work when it turns white, which is the transition period between the past and the present. Curious, Frank decides to check how far the ring goes back in time, and he realizes it only goes back 57 seconds. Later, Jayla joins him, and they both go on a walk as they get to know each other better. Shortly after... The two begin to make out and they later end up in Frank's apartment. Huh, these guys need to chill! Well, as their makeout gets intense, Jayla gets pissed off after seeing a female purse in Frank's room and decides to leave, but Frank quickly uses the ring to go back in time just to hide the purse. Now, the thing is, after each time travel, only Frank can recall what had happened. After this, she notices a female picture on his shelf and instead of explaining, Frank activates the ring again and keeps using it just to keep her from asking too many questions which he intends to answer anyway. The next morning, Frank's car gets towed away. Although Frank tried using the ring, however, it was too late. Meanwhile, a man named Sig Thorinson, one of Anton's biggest rivals and the founder of a drug-producing company, Renson Pharmaceuticals, inquires about Frank. He asks about his involvement with Anton, and subsequently tasks his workers, Rene Rensler and Calvert, to look for a way to change the narrative that Frank was hired to save Anton a Connacht. Sig further explains that they need to make sure Anton's triband doesn't hit the market, stating that it will subsequently drive their sales down if nobody gets sick. Later that day, Frank goes to a casino in an attempt to raise money to bail his car out. So, he decides to bet on roulettes using the ring to go back in time and then pick the right numbers. After a while, Frank makes thousands of dollars. Meanwhile, Calvert begins to trail his movements, trying to find out what he has in common with Anton. A few hours later, Frank bails his car and soon gets himself a new sleek ride. 
The following day, Frank returns to the casino to continue his winning streak. However, the casino workers begin to suspect that Frank has been cheating. Well, Frank wins as usual, but while leaving the casino he gets knocked down by one of the guards. However, Frank immediately activates the ring in an effort to try out new escape methods, but he keeps getting knocked down each time he tries. However, Calvert intervenes and gets the casino guards off his back. Afterward, Frank and Calvert get to know each other as they have lunch together. During their conversation, Calvert tells Frank that Sig Thornson would like to meet him, but as soon as Frank hears this, he rejects the offer, stating that Sig's drug, Zonastin, has killed thousands of people. However, Calvert tells Frank that they need his PR skills to change the narratives, and subsequently gives him his business card, in case he changes his mind. Days later, Jayla visits Frank in his new apartment and asks to show him something using his laptop. However, Jayla sees the picture of a lady as his wallpaper, thinking it's his ex. However, Frank reveals to her that the lady is his twin sister, Natalie. The thing is, Natalie had survived a car accident four years ago, but due to the pain of the injuries she'd sustained, she was given Zonastin as a painkiller. However, this drug was later revealed to be an addictive drug which Natalie got hooked on, which subsequently led to her death. Afterward, Frank shows Jayla his new ride. However, Frank soon gets a call from Anton asking him to come for the interview. As soon as Frank gets to the boardroom, Anton hands him two bracelets, one for himself and one for Jayla, as appreciation for saving him, and they soon begin the interview. During the interview, Anton reveals to Frank that he's looking to unveil a tri-band that will completely replace medications, stating that he's also developing a device that will help eliminate accidents completely. Anton further reveals how he intends to achieve this, stating that he once found a substance that contained quantum particles many decades ago that when integrated with AI can help eliminate accidents completely. Later that night, Frank contemplates whether to meet with Sig or not. However, after considering it as an opportunity to get revenge for Natalie, Frank decides to get through with the meeting. So the next day, Calvert introduces Frank to Sig, who then introduces Rene to Frank as the brilliant mind behind his pharmaceutical company, and subsequently tries to hook Frank up with one of his girls, but he refuses. Afterwards, Sig asks Frank to use his persuasive voice to promote Renson Pharmaceuticals for them, stating that Zonastin has helped a lot of people. However, Frank gets angry and soon begins to confront Sig, revealing that the so-called Zonastin killed his sister and later punches his face. However, before Calvert can hit him, Frank quickly activates the ring, restarting the conversation. This time, Frank plays along and all went well. Shortly after, Rene suggests that Frank proves his prediction skills to them, just as Calvert has told them. Now to make it interesting, Sig proposes a deal stating that if Frank can predict what will happen after he whistles, then he'll get $100,000 for every article he writes to promote Renson Pharmaceuticals. However, if he fails, Calvert will be fired, and Frank will have to write five promotion articles at half his normal rate. Frank agrees to the deal and uses the ring to perfectly predict the sequence of the events that follow the whistle, stating that one of Sig's girl will walk up to him and give him a massage afterward. This perfect prediction shocks Sig to his core and he soon begins to wonder what could be the source of such power. Later that night, Frank tells Jayla about his plans to write articles for Sig in order to get to know his inner dealings and then subsequently expose him. Jayla advises him not to do it, stating that he'll lose the trust of his readers. With this, Frank decides that he'll find a way around it, stating that he'll take Sig's money and buy a house for them to move in together. Then, Jayla jokingly notes that Frank's words are beginning to sound like a weird proposal. On hearing this, Frank proposes to Jayla and she accepts. The next day, Frank suggests hosting a big event in six months where he will completely rebrand Renson Pharmaceuticals instead of writing articles. Sig agrees to this idea and immediately asks Rene to put Frank on his payroll. With this, Rene takes Frank to his office since he'll now be working with them. Shortly after, they try to set Frank up with a blonde lady after planting a camera in his office, but Frank sends her out of his office as they all watch with disappointment. With this, Rene suggests that they look for an alternative for their blackmailing material, which they term collateral. Aside from that, Sig is also bothered about how Frank manages to do his prediction tricks. With this, they decide to invite Frank and Jayla on a trip to Miami, where they put Frank on strict surveillance in a casino just to see how he does his tricks, you know. On the other hand, Rene is tasked with drawing out valuable information from Jayla regarding the source of Frank's power, but they can't get anything. And Frank ends up winning a huge sum of money at the casino. Later that night, Frank briefly spots Ingram among the crowd and quickly hides the ring, thinking he'd come for it, but he vanished. Shortly after, they all sit down to talk and a man walks up to them with a gun and shoots Sig, Rene, Calvert, and Jayla. However, Frank quickly pulls out the ring and quickly reverses the incident. 
With this, he begins to look around suspiciously knowing what is about to happen, but this time he knocks out the shooter with a bottle of wine. With this, Sig realizes that Frank has just saved his life. Days later, Frank realizes that the man who attacks Sig is the husband of Susan Miller, one of Sig's employees who allegedly committed suicide in her office, stating that he once wanted to write an article about it, but couldn't find anyone related to the deceased. With this, Frank decides to dig deeper to know what had happened to Susan Miller by asking Renee for Susan Miller's file. Moments later, Sig takes Susan's file to Frank himself, thanking him for saving his life in Miami. However, Sig, still desperate for collateral, takes Frank to a bar where he had connived with the bartender to spike Frank's drinks. Shortly after taking a shot, Sig leads weak Frank to a room where he films him amid several girls he had prepared for him. Frank regains consciousness the next day and rushes home. On getting home, he meets Anton and soon realizes that he's just missed Jayla's first art exhibition, but Anton has bought everything. Soon Jayla confronts Frank about his true intentions with Sig, stating that he shouldn't have saved Sig in Miami. However, Frank reveals to her that he did it to save her, but she obviously didn't understand what he meant. This confrontation subsequently evolves into an argument as they walk along the pool where Jayla hits Frank, prompting the both of them to fall inside the pool. While in the water, Frank tries to save Jayla from drowning, but she touches the ring instead, prompting them to go back 57 seconds. But this time, Jayla remembers everything that just happened, and she soon begins to panic, knowing fully well that she was in the water. With this, Frank reveals to her that it all happened because of the ring. Jayla realizes that Frank has been using it all these while, and she concludes that everything Frank had ever done or said to her was all lies. However, despite Frank's attempt to explain himself, Jayla leaves the house. With this, Frank decides to get to the bottom of it once and for all, remembering that Calvert once told him that Renee has all the records. The next day, Frank walks into Renee's office asking her for the passcode to the safe in her office, but she screams for help, and he immediately activates the ring to restart his plans. Now, after so many failed attempts, Frank finally gets the code combination for the safe. After Renee closes for the day, Frank sneaks into her office to take all the documents. Later that night, Frank reaches out to Andy to help him display a bunch of videos incriminating Sig and his employees at Renson Pharmaceuticals before a basketball match the next day. Andy tells Frank that he'll lose his job, but agrees after getting a huge sum of money from Frank that will set him up for life. The next day as match time approaches, Frank readies his things to get out of town and also leaves a message for Jayla, after many failed attempts to reach her. Soon, Andy displays the videos across all news channels streaming the basketball match. In one of the videos, Calvert is seen faking Susan Miller's death while Sig records it himself. Frank also exposes the addictive nature of the Zonastin pill and the number of deaths it has caused over the years. However, as Frank approaches his car, he gets knocked out cold by Sig and his henchmen, and they take him to an airport where he realizes that Jayla has also been kidnapped. While walking towards the plane, Jayla commends Frank for doing the right thing, and Frank tells Jayla to escape once he activates the ring. Jayla does as she is told and escapes running towards the police as they approach them. Frank gets taken into the plane, and Calvert quickly sets the plane in motion, taking off despite several warnings and blockades set by the police. However, one of the plane's engines gets shot and it begins to fail as they fly higher. With this, Calvert suggests landing the plane, but Sig tells him to keep flying, stating that he'll rather fight his case on a private island than in a cell. Afterward, Sig begins to blame Frank, who is now lost in thoughts, staring at the ring. Seeing this, Sig angrily grabs Frank's hands in an attempt to draw his attention, but unknowingly touches the ring, which takes him back in time. With this, Sig realizes that the ring is responsible for all the tricks and forcefully takes it from Frank as he tries to use it. However, Frank tells Sig that it's too late since the ring only takes them back 57 seconds. Finally, with little time left before the plane crash, Sig tries to help Calvert on landing the plane, but Sig forgot that he is standing while the plane is crash landing ends up dead. In the end, Calvert successfully crash lands the plane. Calvert, Frank, and Renee survive the crash, but Sig's body gets caught up in the plane's final explosion. Subsequently, Jayla finally reunites with Frank and watches the plane burn. Anton appears on the scene revealing to them that he'd known all along that Frank had the ring with him, stating that he was testing him and would like him to have it. However, Frank rejects the ring and reveals to Anton that it is dangerous and addictive similar to Zonastine Pill. He states that he couldn't stop using it even when he didn't want to. Frank quickly smashed the ring and gets rid of it. With this, Anton still believes that Frank is the perfect candidate as a partner for creating a better world. But Frank still rejects him once again, stating that you can't build a better world by going back and forth until you get it right. Anton keeps his offer open for Frank in case has a changed of heart, and the couple walk away to close out the movie.
If you'd like to see us recap any other movies or topics you have in mind, just drop a comment and let us know. And don't forget to hit the like button, share this recap, and subscribe to stay updated for the next one. Until next time!